few months ago, if someone decided to dump a computer, it was an old computer and dirty and full of dust inside, but I retrieved a lot of good parts, uh, like this one. This is a DVD and CD reader and writer, and it might be in a full working condition, but I'm not interested in using it uh, like we will normally use one of these, but to retrieve the brushless motor from inside and see if we can use it with a normal ESC and maybe put it in an RC airplane and see if it works. So let's get started. So obviously the first thing we're going to do is take this apart so we can take a look inside and spot the brushless motor we need. Here we have the actual thing. The brushless motor should be this one here. This is the one that we need. And here we have another DC motor, but this one is not brushless. This is, this is a brushed motor, which we can use for something else. But this is not gonna power an airplane. This is another DC motor, but this one is just to drive this rail. For now, I'm only interested for the main DC brushless motor, which has the potential to power an airplane. And I'm going to take out the rest, but I'm going to use them for other projects. Once I took out the brushless motor, I realized that it has a very heavy and bulky metal base, which is not gonna be good for the weight of the airplane. But this is not the same for every manufacturer. Different brands have different ways and different designs of these motors, so you'll find in some of them that they don't have this big base, but rather a very small and simple one. But in my case, I will have to deal with this. For now, let's take a closer look. This is just like any other brushless motor, but very shipped construction. In the outer part of the motor, which is called the bell, we can see that it's made out of a very cheap metal, the same metal that the whole computer is built of. Even the magnet inside is not made out of a good quality. If we pull the bell out very strongly, we can take it out and see the stator. Under the stator, we can see a PCB where all the wiring is connected. The stator looks really standard, as in any other brushless motor, but the winding is what makes the difference. This winding is designed for a low power output, just for rotating CDs and DVDs. But we will see if it's enough for powering a very small RC airplane. If you look closely, you will see that there are four connection points in the PCB where the wires of the windings are connected. We will need just three. The fourth one is different from the others because it has all the wires connected in the same point, whereas the three other have only one wire. With other brands, you will see only three connectors, but in my case, I have this one with four. So I'm gonna start a few tests. I'm gonna connect three wires to the inputs of the motor and then we can connect the ESC, or electronic speed controller. I'm going to start with these very thin wires to begin the test. You will also need your receiver and radio control, or something that emulates it, like this servo tester, and the battery. In my case, I'm using a LiPo 2 cells battery, which is about 8 volts. And at this point, I started doing some experiments just for fun and see how it goes. Then I up the game a little bit more and I put a propeller. Mm -hmm. 
Here it gets a little bit more complicated because this motor doesn't have a shaft for holding the propeller. So I just got a little bit of blue tack and put the propeller on top temporarily. The next step is to get rid of the unnecessary weight. So I'm just cutting off all the motor base excess, which is made out of this very heavy metal. Then I decided to change the wires for thicker ones to direct more power and amperage, but the bell of the motor couldn't close very well, so I had to change them back to the thin wires. And then I did a very simple test to calculate how much thrust I will get from this motor. As you can see here, I put the motor on a box to elevate it and I put the whole system on a scale. Then I started to measure and I was getting about 59 to 60 grams at the maximum speed, which is not enough or barely enough to make an airplane, a small one, fly. Maybe using a three cell battery, the thrust will be higher, but still not enough. We could use this motor for a small and light airplane, but still we're gonna have a lot of trouble to maintain it flying. I will use this small plastic piece that will adapt to the shaft diameter and also to the propeller diameter. And then I will use epoxy glue, since I don't see any other simpler way. So if you want to change propellers, it's not practical. Then I place the base of the motor on the airplane using questionable method. But since this motor is not so powerful, it will be okay. And now is the moment of the truth. We will see if we can fly this airplane with this motor. In this first flight, I'm going to use the three cell battery. It is a little bit heavy, but it's also a little bit more powerful than the two cell battery. The weather is not helping too much because it's a little bit windy, but we can still fly. That was the first try, let's try it again. And it flies, but not for long. Maybe it is moment to use a bigger propeller. So this time I'm going to use a 6 inch 3 blades propeller. The previous one was a 5 inch 3 blades propeller. And here we go with a second try. It seems to fly a lot better. I could maintain the fly for a longer time than the previous flights. But one of the problems is that the 3 cell battery is too heavy. And this is the smallest 3 cell battery that I have. So now I'm going to try this 2 cells battery, which is 300 milliamps, and it's really, really light. As you can see, it's easier to maintain the flight, but because the battery is not that powerful, I'm still struggling to maintain this airplane in the air. Maybe the wind is affecting the flight, but even without wind, you will have to fly very slow and very, very careful, because if you climb too fast, then you will stall the airplane. So I don't recommend using these motors for powering an RC airplane, especially if you can find motors online specifically designed for this at an extremely low price nowadays. I'm pretty sure you can use this motor to power an airplane with longer wings, kind of a glider, because they don't need that much power to maintain the flight. The airplane that I'm using right now is designed to go faster because it has shorter wings. But if your question is, can I use a brushless motor taking out from an old DVD and CD drive to be used to power an RC airplane? The answer is yes, but the problem is that it's not perfect for this task. But there is a way to improve this motor, and it is making a new winding of the stator. But we can leave that for another video, because that's a very extensive topic. By the way, consider subscribing if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos. For now, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next project.